Hello. I'm going to read a poem which takes place in a single room, but that takes in the solar system. John Donne wrote in one of his erotic poems that love can make a little room and everywhere, but so too, perhaps to a lesser degree, can a sense of wonder. Uh, and perhaps uh, our understanding of the world, our scientific understanding of the world, which has deprived us of angels and uh, the celestial choirs and the music of the spheres, has at the same time given us all kinds of things to wonder at. This is a poem about the sun and sunlight. And when you consider that it takes a single photon thousands of years to travel from the core of the sun to its surface, and then about eight minutes and 20 seconds to travel from the surface to the page of the book that you were reading, I think that uh, makes one sit up and ruffle one's hair. This poem is by the great Scottish poet Norman McCaig, who probably isn't that well known now, but really I can't recommend him highly enough. He nearly only wrote short poems and they are wondrous. He always claimed that he wrote most of them in the time it took him to smoke two cigarettes. This poem is called Rag and Bone. The sun has raced to us at those millions of miles an hour. But when it reaches the floor of the room, it creeps slower than a philosopher. It makes a bright puddle that alters like an amoeba. It climbs the door as though it were afraid it would fall. In a few minutes, it'll make this page an assaulting dazzle. I'll pull a curtain sideways. I'll snip a few yards off those millions of miles. And, tailor of the universe, sit quietly, stitching my few ragged days together. <laughs>